Hi folks, Paul here. If my voice sounds more muffled than usual, it's because I'm just getting over a cold. Anyway, I managed to kill something in my eye charger by um, a series of stupid mistakes. The, the key problem that I have is I've been using Anderson connectors for a lot of what I've been playing with and I've used that for 12 volt connections and also for the main uh, 24 volt power wall. And of course what that means is that at some point I'm liable to plug in a 12 volt device into the 24 volt power wall and in fact that's exactly what I did with my eye charger. It's rated at up to 18 volts and I now know what happens when you plug it into the power wall which was at 27 volts at the time. It turns on and it says input over voltage, quite helpful. And um, so I read that and I went, oh shit, and I unplugged it and I thought, oh no, I hope I haven't killed it. So then I plugged it into the correct 12 volt supply and it turns itself back on and the controls worked fine, it looked like it was it had survived okay. And I thought that's exactly why I spent more money by the eye charger because of um, the superior engineering that went, goes into it. It can make up for my silly mistakes. Sadly what I didn't realise though was that it had shorted the output. Uh, that wasn't clear to me at all. Uh, so, in my ignorance, I hooked it up to the, the power blocks that I've got. My intention was to balance these. These are the, um, the good half of the small block pack. The um, other half has the really bad um, group that I'm um, laboriously going to test every single pair before I, I move ahead. So I plugged this into the what I thought was the good pack, it was before I plugged it in, and shorted the main negative and positive. Now, when I did that, lots of nice little lights twinkled very briefly all the way across the across the pack as all the fuses, actually it wasn't all of them, by the time I noticed it and yanked the power cable off, I'd only blown about half of them. So all the fuses, half the fuses have blown, and now I need to redo them. And I'm going to um, pull all the fuses off and put all new fuses so that they're all at the same new, fresh, known state. So that was all a bit disappointing. Now, this is the point where all the professional electronics uh, and electrician uh, people pipe up and say, hey, didn't you have a single main fuse on your main power lines? And the answer was no. No, that was the next thing I was going to do, was hook up the BMS and the breakers. Uh, and if I had done that part first, I wouldn't have blown all the fuses. So what I'm going to do is redo all the fuses, then get the BMS and the breakers sorted, then um, rebalance this pack. As for this, the short suggests that something, one of the, a MOSFET or something like that inside has blown, so I'm going to try and open that up and see if anything obvious has charred or anything. There wasn't any um, smell or anything, so it looked like it survived the 27 volts quite happily, which is why I was foolish enough to slap it on on the pack. Two steps forward, one step back, or one step forward, two steps back. Now I will carry on. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers. Um, 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 it was all happy, um, um, uh, um, 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 one by one.
Um, 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 all the ones, um, 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 uh, uh, um, 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 um,